that Trump has an uncanny ability to control the news cycle no matter what else is going on. And Joe Biden can barely mumble his way through a response to a question if he takes them at all, and he usually takes them from prearranged reporters. There's just nothing newsworthy there. There's nothing to report other than Joe stumbled his way up onto the stage, had to be helped off. Uh, we're seeing footage now. He was wearing his sunglasses indoors for reasons that escape me. Um, there's just not a whole lot to talk about with Joe Biden other than things that I'm sure his staff would rather us not talk about. With Donald Trump, every day is an adventure. Every day provides some kind of, of new news story. And I think a lot of people are watching this trial in New York and they're saying, let me see if I get this right. Hillary Clinton clearly was involved in trying to rig the 2016 election by the phony Steele dossier that resulted in the uh, complete fabrication of a story called the Russia hoax. Um, and somehow that was fine. She never got really accused or charged with anything. Donald Trump is sitting in a New York courtroom for a charge that doesn't even fit in New York and already had run the statute of limitations. They had to make up a legal strategy in order for this to even go to trial. And I think people are saying this is a clear attempt by the current administration to attack a political opponent using the gears of government and it stinks to high heaven. So the president yesterday is celebrating Earth Day, something very easy to do, seemingly easy, but Here's a look at what he had to say in front of cameras. As president, I've seen the devastating toll of climate firsthand. And folks, solar for all will give us more breathing room and cleaner breathing room. We had the highest cancer rate in the 1970s of any nation, any state in the nation. And guess what? A lot of us, from me included, ended up with bronchial uh, asthma and many other diseases. He can't even get through the Earth Day speech, Governor. You just marvel at uh, how he can't get through the sentence. And you know this is scripted. He's not talking off the cuff, but even with the script, he has uh, a great deal of difficulty. And, you know, we laugh about it because we don't want to cry about it. But it is tragic. This is the President of the United States, the man who's making decisions that affect the entire globe. And right now the world is on fire. And I would submit largely because of his uh, lack of leadership. And as a result, we're in a world of hurt all over the planet. And I wish that as he's talking about Earth Day, he would put a little focus on what's happening on Earth. The riots on our campus where people are screaming for the murder of Jewish people. Uh, he needs to be crystal clear in coming out. And I, I just look at the contrast between Joe Biden. Let's go back to 1957, Little Rock, Arkansas, where I am. When nine black students were denied entrance into Central High School, President Eisenhower federalized the National Guard and sent in the 101st Airborne and said, these mobs are not going to keep those kids from coming to school. And those nine kids got into the classrooms at Central High. Mm -hmm. We now see the most elite college campuses in the country being taken over by mobs, by insane, hate-filled, genocidal mobs who want to kill all the Jews. And Joe Biden takes him four days to say anything, and it's a pretty weak statement when he does. Yeah.